Welcome everybody back to Multiplex Movie Melee and welcome to the round one of the Teams Tournament 2024 edition. Uh, we have an exciting round one match between the number four competitor uh, Bullets Over Broadway, that, that being Andrew the Dive Bar and Kirk the Consigliere Kolokowski, and the number 13 ranked competitors Rewind Fuckers, Matt the Casual Chaos Queller, and Nazario Mr. VHS Montenegro. Uh, on the desk with me is Dylan, Vicious Vampire. Dylan, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing very good, yeah. This should be an interesting one. Uh, four versus 13, I think a bit of a deceptive how far apart they are in the rankings here. Because, I mean, all four competitors today are veterans of the game. Like, it's kind of crazy. This, this is the first time, obviously, because Rewind Fuckers has not been around as a team for very long, even though the competitors have been around individually. It's interesting seeing these four uh, team, these four different players, like, team basing off as teams for the first time i think that's very interesting like just yeah i think it'll be an interesting match and yeah i said interesting a lot there so it's going to be very interesting and exciting let's go 100 <laughs> well uh yeah i believe the last time we saw the bullets over broadway uh they unfortunately lost to your milwaukee beers to qualify for a number one contender match and the last time we saw rewind fuckers they played a match to uh determine their seating in this tournament against great scott getting the w there uh both these teams have very different like styles to how they approach the game i just say we uh jump right into interviews uh starting with our uh number 13 ranked competitors rewind fuckers matt quaylar nazario montenegro uh with their uh manager tonight mike hanley guys Round one in a tournament, there's a chance to make a run here. How are you guys feeling? I want to start off by saying that was a very interesting opening you guys did right there. Yeah, Good shit. And I want to thank you guys for pronouncing our team names. Oh, and I also love that, that me and Jim are higher ranked than you two fucking assholes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is something. <laughs> that is something. I, I want to congratulate Payson on a pristine, immaculate first take on the intro. Absolutely. It's all professional. <laughs> fucking A. And he met, and th th this is going to be a challenging match. I know that uh, Barr and Kirk are a great team, and th they tried to stump us. They threw some hep burn on the wheel, but jokes on them. I spent all weekend. I watched Philadelphia Story, African Queen, on Golden Pond. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Matt's already fucked up. He talked about the match. He uh, yeah. which, which of the Sabrinas was the one we're supposed to watch? Because I watched the nineties one. Oh. We're going to head into the interview with your uh, competitors tonight, that being uh, Bullets Over Broadway, uh, Kirk Barr, and joining us, uh, a surprise, not Scott Harvey, Bill, the Philadelphia Carriola. Bill, what are you doing here? Uh, they're like, shit, Scott's not available. Who's the 38th person available? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> also, unlike my, uh, our uh, friends up there, we will not be insulting the host. So, because uh, that's well, just how, you know, we're respectful. So, always, how you feeling? Uh, well, first of all, Kirk, I think we're fucked. Uh, Matt's been studying. Um, so, at least you got to watch some good movies. Yeah. Nazario watched good, uh, well, he watched a Silly Lament movies. Of all the <laughs> Silly Lament movies, he watched one of them. Um, I got my whole uh, trios team here. And also Nazario. Nazario, like I said, he's the problem. Their manager, Mike, is a serious and dedicated trivia, trivia player. Nazario tries to turn him into a clown show, and I'm putting an end to that. Yeah. Sick so. of it. Good luck to you guys. Am I being punked right now? So, best of luck to you guys, but hopefully more luck to us. All right. Uh, harsh words. Better, but, uh, Dylan, I say we jump right into the rules of round one. Uh, round one is going to work like this. Uh, all eight, uh, all four competitors are going to receive eight uh, questions from eight general movie categories. Get all eight questions right. You will receive a bonus question. Competitors will have 15 seconds to write the answer on their board. After that, we will say pens down, and you will be asked to flip and say your answer. Uh, competitors uh, do get three repeats and one challenge throughout the duration of the match. Competitors, any questions before we head into round number one? So, so do we all flip our boards at the same time, or is it just like a one-at-a-time thing? You know, it's really funny how you guys are always the ones to ask questions when I say, do you have any questions? Most just don't say yeah, anything. I, well, I also have a question. Am I the only one who didn't get the memo about wearing blue? Well, uh, if you go to the video store website, you can get our shirt. <laughs> your, first question, question. your first question will be coming to you in the category of directors. 
Who directed The King's Speech, Les Miserables, and Cats? I know I, uh, I know I gave a little bit of a, a little bit of sass to these players. I, I do genuinely love every single person on call. Oh yeah, when it's these four, you can sass them all you want. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I, I always, um, yeah, yes, we do need hands from, uh, from uh, all competitors, please. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Kirk. We're gonna go to you. Um, I think I mixed, mixed together like three different names. Is it Tom Hopper, and we're gonna go to Matt, Rob Marshall. And we're going to go to Bar. Tom Hooper? And we're going to go to Nazario. Tom Hooper. Uh, Tom Hooper is the correct answer. We cannot accept Tom Hopper. It's all good, Kirk. You got a point in my heart for that one. It's always what I'm going to call with Matt. <laughs> so your next question will come in the category of sci-fi slash fantasy. What type of animal is Artax in The NeverEnding Story? A very misguided. A specific. We need, an answer. We need yeah. an answer. Yes. <laughs> uh, very misleading title for a movie. How long is the runtime? Uh, it's like it's like an hour forty. I want to say like never ends. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Five. For such hacks. <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. Matt, we're gonna go to you. Of course. I'm gonna go to bar. <laughs> And we're going to go to Nazario. He's a very sad fucking horse. We're going to go to Kirk. I had the wrong character. Uh, I have no idea what Bar just did, but horse is correct. <laughs> Rewind fuckers taking the 3 2 lead as we head into your third question in the category of Westerns. Who plays Chris Adams, the leader of the titular Seven in 1960s, The Magnificent Seven? Now, uh, this is not a misleading title. Because uh, there are seven characters, and they're all that. You think so? Oh yeah, ah, maybe a few of them are a little underdeveloped, but <laughs> so. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Bar will go to you. You Brenner. We will go to Nazario. Frank Sinatra. We will go to Kirk. Steve McQueen. We will go to Matt. Yul Brenner. Yul Brenner is correct. Bar and Matt hitting that question. All right. So then your next question will come in the category of actors slash actresses. Robert Shaw and John Travolta play the same character in different versions of what crime film? You so, know, yo, you go, you go. I was going to ask, wasn't it usually actors and actresses, and we hit a point where it just became actors slash actresses? This is very concerning to me. Of all the categories that are, like, combining two things, that's the one where, like, I sometimes put an and, sometimes put a slash. I think yeah. we need to make, like, a decision in the writer's room. <laughs> Five, four. Uh, absolutely, that is a Rewind Fucker's first repeat. Yep. Your question again. Robert Shaw and John Travolta play the same character in different versions of what crime film? Yeah, uh, what I was going to say is Robert Shaw is an underrated, like, really cool name. Like, I hear that guy and I'm like, that sounds like a guy that's been through some shit. Like, I'm Robert Shaw. Yes. Yeah. Sounds like a mechanic. It's not it's just Rick Shaw. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> or alternator. Five. Or Rick Shaw. Two. One hands down. Nazario will go to you. It's the fucking train movie. What I forgot. Subway Seven. And we will go to Kirk. It's the taking of the Pelham One Two Three. <laughs> <laughs> the taking of the Pelham One Two Three. And we will go to Bar. The taking of Pelham One Two Three. So I think we can only accept Bar's Dylan. Did you see what I saw? The taking of Pelham one two three is correct. That is the only answer that Matt and Barr had on their board. So we will be giving them the points for that as we move into your fifth question in the category of nineties. In Boogie Nights, what does Scotty do to Eddie on New Year's Eve that angers him and ultimately ends up embarrassing Scotty? Do you have any fun Halloween memories? No. No? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple actually. I was just being dramatic. <laughs> fun holiday. It's a very, very fun. Holiday. Yeah. Five. Except as a giraffe. Four. Whatever. Two. One. I want to see those pictures. Of Kirk will go to you. Kisses him. We will go to Matt. Kisses him. <clears throat> we will go to Bar. Kiss him. And we'll go to Nazario. Kisses him. Kisses him is correct. All players getting that. All right. Your next question will come in the category of coming of age slash team. Garden State primarily takes place in what U.S. state? These are probably <laughs> you can't write Garden State. Just throwing that up. There. <laughs> Fair. Because oh. I know they wanted to. <laughs> yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Matt will go to you. New Jersey. And we'll go to Bart. I almost fucked that up. New Jersey. We'll go to Nazario. New Jersey. And we will go to Kirk. New Jersey. New Jersey is correct. All players do that. I am Washington. Like a dumbass. Do you live uh, in New Jersey? I did. <laughs> uh, your pen ultimate category in round four coming to you in the category of Oscars. Fuck. All present men, Anna and her sisters, and Goodwill Hunting all won what Oscar? Thank God. Did you watch the Oscars last night? I did. They were actually That's not that. Yeah, yeah. I talk. Like, I talk a lot of shit about it, but I still watch it every year. <laughs> watch it. <laughs> NFL draft. Five. Yeah. Oh shit! If you need One, a to take a bar. If you need a beat. No. Bar. We're gonna go to you. I think it's best original screenplay, but I put best supporting actor. We're gonna go to Nazario. Best original screenplay. And we will go to Kirk. You good, Bar? Supporting actor. And we will go to Matt. Best Supporting Actor. Best Supporting Actor is correct. Oh, thank God. So with that, uh, Bullets Over Broadway does tie the game as we head into the final <laughs> question. Yep, which will come in the category of animated. What is the full name that the orangutan who takes a liking to Mowgli goes by in 1967's The Jungle Book? And I do need yeah. to say... Andrew Barr hits this question. Not only will he get a perfect round, but I believe it is his first ever perfect round. Fucking, how do you know that? Because he told us yeah. last match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he did it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's uh, be dramatic. Nazaria, we're going to go to you. King Louis. And we will go to Kirk. King Louis. And we will go to Matt. King Louie. And for the perfect round bar, King Louie. For the perfect round, Andrew James Barr. I think he's correct. That does mean Barr will be getting a bonus question. Barr, I will be asking this question to you and only to you, so you do not have to write it down. Okay. What Alfred Hitchcock film shares the same title as a 2009 biopic? In five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. That is Bullet's first repeat. <clears throat> Alfred Hitchcock film shares the same title as a 2009 biopic. The only one that makes sense to me. Five, four, Marley? That is unfortunately incorrect. We were looking for Notorious. Oh, yeah. So that does mean uh, uh, we are tied out of round one, 12, but anything can happen as we move into round number two, also known as our wheel round. Uh, competitors will get a spin at the wheel if they don't like what they uh, land on. They 
uh, can spin again. If they do like what they land on, they do have the choice to keep it. Uh, but if they do like to spin again, they must keep whatever they land on. If they, uh, whatever category they land on, they will receive five questions, each worth two points apiece. Uh, they check in the multiple <laughs> choice. Uh, your question will go down to one point. Be on the lookout because your opponents can steal your categories on your lovely wheel tonight are Audrey Hepburn, 1980 to 2000 horror, as well as horror, sports, musicals, animation, crime, and mystery thrillers. Bullets, uh, you guys are tied, but uh, you, you guys are the higher ranked competitors. Would you like to go first or second? Let me bring your manager in. Okay. Good job, Bar. Thank you. First off, Bar, good stuff. Uh, also, that's the biggest fucking wheel I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to? What do you think? You want to go at the big fucking wheel, or you want to go fucking second? As personally, our, uh, as probably the other manager would say. Personally, I'm not opposed to going first on this one. I'll leave it up to you, man. You got the hot hand if you're feeling good about it. What do you think, Bill? I mean, I'm crazy. <laughs> he is crazy. Yeah. I, I always like to know where we're at, but if you feel like you want to keep your momentum going. Um, yeah, let's go first. Okay. All right, then this will be your first spin. Ah, figures as much. God damn it. On a, That's on me. Let me. Your manager. Thank you. Rewind fuckers, what would you like okay. to do? So we got the horror category, we got animation. Nicole Strength Street level 1980 2000 horror, or we got animation. Right. What would you, what would you guys think? See, that's basically everything else I think they can work through. I think since the, the, the horror ones are strength level. You want to do strength level? What, what do you think, Nazario? I don't know. I'm and that leaves busy. animation for us, possibly. I feel like that's true. Yeah, it does leave animation for. I I will go with you guys. Think, Matt, you want to do 1980 to 2000 horror? Yeah, let's go ahead and give that to him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. 1980 to 2000 horror. Dylan, you like these movies? Why don't you give them their questions in this category? Yeah, some of them. All right. Your first question in the category of 1980 to 2000 horror. In The Changeling, the 1981 it says here, John tries to get rid of what item by throwing it off a bridge only for it to return. You seen it? No, but I know what it's about. You think you get it on multiple? I think I can get it on multiple. All right. Well, All right. Your options are A, wheelchair, B, music box, C, ball, or D, a doll. Well, the two things I was thinking of are there. Which ones? Engine Albie. Are you, like, sure about that, or is that just a guess? Inge is on the poster. Okay, go with that, then. Five, four, three, two, A, final one. answer. That's unfortunately incorrect. Uh, rewind for the one-point steal. Is it A, a wheelchair, B, a music box, C, a ball, or D, a doll? I know that there's a ball involved at some point in the film. You want to go for that? I have not watched this. <laughs> but let's say ball, final answer. That is correct for the one point steal. Okay. Not one of the not the other one I was thinking of. <laughs> You're not the last either, so. <laughs> Who plays Seth's older brother Cameron in the reflecting skin? never heard of this thing do you think they'll know it do you want to go to multiple and do you think they're going to know it i mean we should still go to multiple but if you want okay good multiple choice yeah multiple choice all right your options are a vigo mortensen b kevin bacon c matt dillon or d matthew mcconaughey i'd say either moliere or goldsmith Probably, it sounds like a Goldsmith kind of movie. That's what I'm thinking as well. Good. C, final answer. It's unfortunately incorrect. Uh, we were looking, not, I uh, not, can't say that yet. Uh, you're welcome. I didn't say anything. We're good. For the one point steal, your options are 
A, Vigo Mortensen, B, Kevin Bacon, C, Matt Dillon, or D, Matthew McConaughey? I have no idea. What, what jumped out at you? I don't even know the movie, the name anymore. I don't think it is a... Uh... Oh, fuck it. Let's go with A. Five. A it is. Final hey, final answer. answer. That is correct for the one point. Hey, yeah. <laughs> All right. So your third question, Bullet. I should have followed that one. <clears throat> In Stir of Echoes, while Tom's while so let me try that again. In Stir of Echoes, while Tom Whitsky is being hypnotized, he envisions himself in what type of location? I've seen it. Don't remember this. I I have a couple ideas. <laughs> have you seen it? No. Okay. I know they go, have. Let's go multiple. Yeah, I, and I, I should be able to get it. All right, multiple choice, please. Your options are A, a jail cell, B, a, a movie theater, C, a cemetery, or D, a church. I think it's Lippa. If that's what your gut says, then go with it. I trust you. A, final Five, answer. Four. It's unfortunately incorrect. I rewind for the one point steal. Is it A, a jail cell, B, a movie theater? C, a cemetery, or D, a church? Do you know? Not what I was thinking, no. I don't think it's a cemetery. Yeah. Maybe a church. Where was what the girl killed or something? Was it was a, a house. Theater? I want to say movie theater. Movie theater. Movie theater, final answer. That is correct for the one-point steal. And your penultimate question in this category. Cool. <laughs> In Sleepaway Camp, what specifically happens to Artie, the cook at Camp Arawak, that causes him to be sent to the hospital? Oh, God. Oh, God. Like, I think I have an idea, but I want to be safe. Okay. So, multiple choice. Good. All right. So, your options are A, stung by a swarm of bees, B, scalded by boiling hot water, C, bitten by a snake, or D, his face was burned on a grill. What do you think? I, I know it's either Durang or Simon, and I want to say it's Durang. I have no idea if you feel okay about it. It's one of those two. Five, four, three, two. B, final answer. That is correct for the one point. Good job. Thank you. How did this get made? <laughs> so now, your final question in this category. <clears throat> What 1990s horror film features a team consisting of an anthropologist, a molecular biologist, an empath, sorry, an, an empath and a mercenary? You okay if I take a repeat on this? Sure. Let's go. Are we going multiple? Two. Let's yeah. go multiple. Multiple, multiple choice. choice. All right. Your options are A, The Haunting, B, Species, C, Flatliners, or D, Vampires. Pretty sure it's... This is question five, right? Yes. Paris? Pretty sure. Oh, Parks? Parks, yeah. Five, four, three. Can we repeat the options, please? Your options again are A, The Haunting, B, Species, C, Flatliners, or D, Vampires. It's either that or Let's. Because, oh, no, it's, I don't think it's Let's. I, I, I thought of like two or three movies it could be, and that was one of them, the one I'm saying, and nothing else okay. came up. So I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, then I, I trust you. Go for it. We're going to say B, final answer. That is correct for one point. Nicely done. With that, Dylan, I have bullets getting their score up to 14 points. Steals, I have rewind fuckers getting their score up to 15. That you have? That is what I have, yes. Come on, fuckers, get Audrey Hepburn or Bring Irvin the Jewish. Let's not fuck this up now, guys. Fuckers <laughs> <laughs> You land on the like to keep it or spin again. Okay, this is my thing. You guys already have the lead. Yeah, could hit something that 
doesn't go your way. This is true. There, there are definitely two categories on here that yeah. you don't want to get. This, through. I think you guys can work through. I but it's up to you guys. What do you think, Nazario? Sure. Let's <laughs> give it. Yeah. Nazario's excited. I'm excited. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Going we'll with fuck sports. it up. Uh, we'll I will be again. giving questions in the category of sports rewind fuckers. Your first question. The legend of Bagger Vance centers around what sport? It's golf, golf. right? Golf. Mm. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your second question. In Rocky IV, Rocky and Drago fight each other on what holiday? Okay. Fucking holidays with this movie. Isn't it like Christmas? I think it's Christmas for this one. It was Thanksgiving Five. on the first one, New Year's on the second. So yeah, Christmas. Christmas, final two. answer. That is correct for two points. Your third question. In Million Dollar Arm, who plays sports agent J.B. Bernstein? It's the guy from Mad Men. John right? Hamm. Yep. John Hamm, final answer. That is correct for two points. Your, your pen ultimate question in the category of sports. In He Got Game, Jake was in prison for accidentally killing which member of his family? His wife. Sorry, both yeah, his wife. His, his wife. Final answer. That is correct for two points. My bad, Missouri. I didn't have to see your hand. You broke my mood. <laughs> All right. So here's the situation. If Rewind Fuckers gets two points on this final question, they will win the game by knockout. Your final question, Rewind Fuckers. In Hardball, Keanu Reeves' character agrees to coach the youth baseball team for what reason? Shit. He needs money to pay off his gambling debts. Just go for it, man. He needs money to pay off his gambling debts. Final answer. And your winner. Rewind fuckers. <clears throat> pay off gambling debts was correct. Final score 25 to 14. We are going to be moving into post-match interviews starting with our unfortunate second place finishers tonight uh bullets over broadway um this all seemed to come just to a round two category that you guys just didn't seem to want and they got a round two category it seemed like they wanted how are you guys feeling tonight um i knew as soon as we i saw that wheel drop in the chat if the wheel did not go perfect for us, we were going to lose this match um, because that mill that wheel was just too strong for them, and um, we needed everything to go exactly right, and it obviously did not. So that's what it came down to. Um, also, I mean, I kind of screwed some stuff up in round one, but I mean that would have just kind of delayed the inevitable inevitable with the way uh, things went in round two. Um, but yeah, it, 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 I knew it was going to come down to that wheel. Um, we needed a lot of luck, and we did not get it. Yeah, I'll, uh, you guys could blame me for round two. I should. No, no, no. It. That was my decision. That was my decision. I'm, just, so I'm, I'm, I'm not blaming you. I suck at my job. No, I should have. Bar, I'm saying this right now on camera. From now on, if we're tied or if we're up by a thousand, we are spinning second. Okay. That is in stone. I should have said something. I should have. I should have disagreed with you. But I mean, again, we never. Who knows? Who knows? It's going to come up. That's you know. You can't take responsibility for luck, luck, luck of the wheel. But I will never hold it against you, Kirk, for quoting the Beastie Boys. Of <laughs> You're a beautiful fucking human being. <laughs> Even though they screwed me, it's not the name of the movie. I don't fucking care. You got a million points in my book. <laughs> there is never not a good time to quote the Beastie Boys, to be clear. All right. So um, this does bring an end to your run in this tournament, but uh, because the tournament is so early on the year, we are definitely going to be seeing you guys uh, more this season. Uh, when you guys do come back, is there any team you would like to play? I don't know. Bring on whoever. Nameless gray faces. You guys whoever should play. You guys should play Jim. 
Jeez. I hear that's a lot of fun. I've All heard right. that it has driven people mad. <laughs> I explain that out to you, but we are going to be moving on to interviews from our first place finishers tonight. Nazario Montenegro, Matt Quaylar, and their manager, Mike Hanley. Uh, at this point uh, in the year, definitely the upset of the season. Um, you guys must be feeling pretty good. How are you doing? Okay, before we say anything, I got one thing to say. Fucking A, man. These guys thought they were going to get their ass handed to them today. They both said it right when this match was set up. Uh, Fucking A, right? They did it. We have championship material in this team. We have no faith on ourselves. But then they fucked up. So, yeah, that's fine. I, I would like to point out I'm disappointed that no one got my joke when I said I watched Hepburn movies and I named a bunch of Catherine Hepburn movies. <laughs> I got it. I okay, got thank it. you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I need to ask you now. Is, is Sabrina a Hepburn movie? I don't know. I didn't watch any of those. guess. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that, 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 that's a rough, the, the wheel, we, we all know, we've all, we've all, the wheel has messed us all up, so. I mean, we always choose to go first, thing. and it's been fucking us recently, so <laughs> I, I feel bad I, for I those completely, guys. That I completely shit happened. Identify, I completely identify with Bill because of uh, events that may happen after or before the publication of this match. <laughs> so I, I know the feeling. It feels like shit, so yeah. I'm sorry, man. Oh, yeah. And there's a good chance that my partner might get canceled before our next match anyway, so who knows? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This does mean you guys are going to be going on to round number two. You guys will be playing the winner of the number five seed, your Milwaukee Beers, John Marr and Will Cohen, and a law, the number 12 seed, Law Deal, Scott Harvey and Jacoby Bancroft. Uh, between those two teams, is there anyone you would like to meet in the uh, second I- round? They both sound easier than what we just did, so <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> Yeah, I agree with that. I like yeah. that attitude. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, this was yeah, quite... uh, Dylan, as we head into our uh, final thoughts on this match, uh, what were your uh, overall final thoughts? Yeah, look, uh, really, really, again, I, it's, 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 kind of a cliche thing to just immediately in order to try to make the other team feel better, just say, Oh, bad luck in round two. But in some cases that's really just what it is. Like, yeah, bullets was playing a great match. Uh, uh, it was a, like very high scoring coming out around number one. Uh, just, I think, yeah, that uh, the, the decision to spin first didn't really pay off this time. Uh, I think it was a really great move on rewinds part in terms of what category they gave him uh, strength level uh, horror, I think was very strong. It proved to be very strong, and then uh, keeping this the strategy also of then just keeping the general category of uh, sports to then stay afloat uh, proved to also be very good because they yeah they went ten for ten and got the knockout. This is easily I think the best performance for rewind fuckers have given to date. Like if they could continue playing like this going on in the tournament, they can be a real for, like a definitely like a sleeper pick, dark horse pick for this tournament. So yeah. Yeah, uh, Rewind Fuckers, I think people forget, like, their second match was a title match, and that was because yeah. Matt Wheeler earned that number one contender match. So uh, best of luck to them going uh, so far in the tournament. But uh, on behalf of Matt, on behalf of Nazario, on behalf of Kurt, on behalf of Bar, on behalf of Bill, on behalf of Mike, on behalf of everyone here at Multiplex Movie Melee, I'm pacing the set of Master Johnson. With me, as always, is Dylan, the vicious Van Thine. Have a great night. Goodbye. Goodbye.